Today I will be taking you through a warm-up routine that is perfect to do before any workout or activity, but it's also great to do right after you wake up to find some movement before you start your day. So all you'll need for this is your body weight and a space on the floor that you can lay down. And we'll start off just by finding some nice, easy movement with some rotations through the hip and through the shoulders, letting the arms swing as a pendulum side to side. Very light, very easy, not forcing this movement too much side to side. You might feel a little snap, crackle, pop, but that's okay. Just finding any twist any rotation that you can and after about five to ten twists to each side we'll come back through the middle with the hands at the side on a big breath in we'll raise the arms all the way up extending the hands to the ceiling grabbing onto the left wrist and exhaling to the right inhale brings us back up through center exhale to the left we're going to repeat this on five breaths on each side, always coming back through on an inhale and coming out to the side on an exhale. So you can let your breath lead the pace on this. You don't have to follow my pace exactly, but finding as much of that lateral bend, that lateral flexion as you can. One more time. And on the fifth one, the fifth and final bend, we come back up through center on an inhale. On our exhale, we're gonna start some sun breaths. So we're hinging at the waist, dropping the fingertips down towards the toes, keeping the knees lightly bent, and inhaling all the way back up, finding as much length on the way up and as much of a fold on the way down. Again, you can bend those knees a little bit more to deepen that fold. And the straighter your legs are, the more you're going to feel it in your hamstrings, especially down the, to, towards the lower part of your hamstrings. The more you bend, that stretch is going to move up towards the glutes or the upper end of the hamstring. So five breaths here. And then on the fifth and final breath, after we exhale all the way down, we're gonna move into some halfway lifts. So we're gonna inhale up only halfway to a nice flat back, making sure that those shoulders are pulled back. Our spine is nice and flat. If you'd like, you can use a mirror for this to just see our body position. Sometimes we think we're flat, but we're really a little bit curved. Uh, so using a mirror or some kind of visual aid will help uh, make sure that you're getting that full extension. It's gonna increase the stretch in the hamstrings, which in turn is going to relieve pressure on the lower back. And then on the fifth and final breath out, we'll stay in our fold and we'll move down to the floor into a tabletop position, finding our way to cat cow. So on our next exhale, arching the back up, tucking the chin, forcing all the air out. And then on the inhale, dropping the belly down, curving the back down and looking up. Big breath out. Big breath in. We'll repeat this one five times as well. Just trying to get as much mobility along the spine as possible. And then on the fifth breath, instead of exhaling to, to cat, we're gonna scoop the knees a little wider and exhale back into a child's pose. We'll take five deep breaths here. final inhale we'll start walking our hands out to the right for the exhale so this is going to stretch out the left side body 
all the way down from the shoulder through the ribs, the obliques, and maybe even into the hips if you're going out far enough. We'll hold here for five breaths. And after the fifth exhale, our inhale will bring us back through center. And the following exhale brings us out to the left. On the fifth breath in, we're going to start slowly coming back towards the center. And then one more big breath out before we slide up and move it onto our back. So flipping it, we're going to lay flat on the back, knees bent, feet on the ground. And we'll start off with some nice, easy windshield wipers. So the inhale is always going to bring us through center. And the exhale, we're going to drop to the side. So we'll start with the left side here, keeping the shoulders down, inhaling back through center, exhaling to the right. We'll go five times on each side. And you can do these fast, but I really encourage you to take your time, sync it up to the breath. Each exhale, you're just going to be releasing a little bit of tension. And that's going to really help on the way down to the side. Increase that stretch, increase the range of motion. Just a signal to the body to relax. After the fifth and final twist, we're going to come back through center. We're going to cross the left foot over the right knee. And then we, if that's not enough of a stretch just right there, and it might be, what we can do is pull that leg in, pull under the right leg, pulling the left, lower left leg in towards our body. You can relax your head, or if you want to get a little extra squeeze, you can bring your shoulders up. But five deep breaths here. Drop both feet down, switch legs, right foot over the left, and then reach up and through. If this is really challenging for you to get your hand all the way under the opposite leg, another alternative is to scoop that top leg with both arms and bring it into your body like that. Um, doesn't make a ton of difference either way. Um, you're still getting the stretch. One it might just be a little bit more comfortable than the other. So find what works best for you. Um, and again, part of that, what works best for you might just be holding it right here. After the fifth breath, we'll bring both feet back down to the mat. Bring both knees into the chest on an exhale. We'll take some big deep breaths, giving yourself a big hug. We can find some movement either side to side. We can go front to back along the spine. Or maybe little circles might feel good for you here. And you can stay in this position as long as you'd like, I'd say at least five breaths, um, maybe even a little longer if it's feeling good along the back. And then rolling up and out of it, coming up to our seated position, we're ready to go, ready to work out, uh, play golf, or just get the day started.